Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Brother Laser Printer software onto your computer. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up a web browser on our computer. It doesn't matter which browser, but you want to navigate over to google.com and you want to type in Brother Printer Driver Download and you want to search that up. One of the best matches should say support and downloads from Brother Solution Center. You want to make sure you're getting it from a Brother domain here. You don't want to be downloading it from some advertisement. So again, make sure you're downloading it directly from Brother itself. So we're going to type in HLL2300D and I'm going to begin searching. And this should be a similar process for the other laser printers I have mentioned as well. So once I've done that, you want to select the correct operating system, so whether it be Windows, Mac, or Linux. Select the specific operating system version. And then you want to select the search button underneath the full driver and software package. I'd recommend left clicking on full driver and software package, it's hyperlink right here. And they even recommend that you do download that instead of just downloading the drivers right here. So download the full software package by clicking on that link. And then once you've looked through the end user license agreement, you want to left click on accept and agree to the end user license agreement and download. Should begin downloading, it's about 45 megabytes. It might be a little bit different depending on what printer you're downloading, but should be pretty universal. Generally like 40 to 80 megabytes is usually the range I see for printer drivers. And especially since we're installing the additional package of the software, it's gonna definitely increase it a little bit. So you just want to be patient. And then once it's finished downloading, I'm just going to left click on the download one time. And we want to make sure the publisher is identified as brother. And then select run. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. Select your correct language and then click on OK. So again, agree to the end user license agreement here by selecting yes. I recommend keeping the standard installation type up here and then select next. So at this point you have to plug it in via USB cable. I'm assuming there's no Wi-Fi connection or you might actually have the ability you just have to plug it in manually. So at this point if you have your printer you want to plug in the USB device and then just follow along with the on-screen instructions from there. It's going to be pretty straightforward. This is where my tutorial is going to end but I do want you guys to follow along with the on-screen instructions. Restart both the printer and your computer when you're done following these instructions and everything should be good and you should be up and running. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.